Right now I am using one light to illuminate me, and that is a 34 inch baton light from Generay. Now I have a second light right here, and it's another 34 inch baton light from Generay. Finally, I have three of these 34 inch baton lights from Generay illuminating me. One up top, literally at the ceiling, aimed down at me, and then one on each side. What do you think? Hey, this is Scott Winekivwitz, a storyteller with a camera, talking about all the things photographers like you and I are thinking about. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about these 34 inch baton lights from Generay. What you see right here is the baton light and is a nice long tube with diffused LEDs and it is just a very skinny tube. Now it's not skinny in the sense of being completely flat, but it is skinny width wise. You can see right here that the baton light is pretty narrow uh, and, it, and it's quite di diverse actually. Before we dig into my thoughts on this and a little bit of the specs on these lights, I wanted to share B&H did supply these lights, this entire kit actually, with four lights, four C stands, and I think five sandbags actually, and a C stand boom arm as well, all for me to review. With that said, this is still an unbiased review. I personally get paid absolutely nothing for this review. I do get to keep the equipment, so thank you B&H. So these lights come in three different sizes, 20 inch, 34 inch, and I think there's even a 50 inch baton light. The lights are really versatile. They are powerful, they have a high CRI, so when you go up to 100% brightness and you start changing the Kelvin, you are getting exactly what you expect to come from these lights. The CRI is 90 five, which, you know, it, it's not too often you find a CRI that's above 95. These lights do have a limit as far as the color temperature. They go from 2800 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin. Now, here's the thing though, while you can set manually with an up and down arrow, how you want the color temperature to be and the brightness, there are some presets, quick buttons on the back of this that you can go ahead and quickly just change the color temperature or the brightness with literally pushing a button. So here it is at 2800 Kelvin at 100% brightness, 75% brightness, 50% brightness, 25% brightness. So as you can see, you can quickly change the color temperature and the brightness by pushing a button, or if you really feel like fine tuning or you need to fine tune, you can go ahead and do so using the up down arrows. These lights are actually powered by a normal household plug and there's a brick that gets plugged in between the household plug and then an XLR port. So there's not a USB-C port, there's not a typical little barrel port for your power, it is actually an XLR port, meaning XLR like your microphone, that type of port, it is sending power through that. There are also two DMX inputs and outputs. DMX ports kind of look like an XLR port, but really tiny. These are actually for controllers, so if you have a uh, hardware controller to control lights through DMX, then you could actually set this up and hardwire all of these to one controller and control them all remotely like that. The one thing I wish is that the DMX also act as a daisy chain for power because that means that by default, each light has its own power supply. And then on top of that, if you want to use the DMX, you now have another cable going from each of these lights in order to your DMX device, which means you've got a lot of cables. If you have four lights like I do, then that means if you're sending power and DMX controlling to these lights, you now have eight cables. So I wish that a daisy chain for power because that would simplify some things, but at the same time, these lights are so versatile that it kind of can overlook some of those things. Yes, these lights have to be plugged in, but they do sell a battery that this long sort of device that would s snap onto the end where the power would go, and it actually adds a battery to the batons. So if you want to go wireless, you could actually pick up the battery accessory, and now you have portable power. I do wish the battery was sort of came with it, but I understand them selling as a separate. It does sell for over $100. So that's kind of something expensive to put in with a light that's already expensive. At the same time, I do wish that there was a wireless remote that came with it. I don't understand why they didn't just build an inexpensive wireless remote and throw it in with all these lights, because if you get a $50 light from some other brand that you can get off Amazon or wherever, it's going to come with an inexpensive remote. It would be nice to be able to just 
with one push, turn all these lights on or then control each one depending on the channel and so on and so forth. I, I don't get why they didn't do that. Oh well. Now right now I have these lights on C-stands. They are not heavy enough to require C-stands, but the fact that you can pick up a kit from B&H that has the C-stands, and even if you go for the higher level of the kits, has a boom arm to get one of the lights overhead or down low or whatever, that's kind of a nice thing. But uh, I've got all of them on C-stands. It does come with a mount that is actually an Arca Swiss mount. Okay, here's why. So here's the light. You can see the XLR port on the end. These are the two DMX imp inputs and outputs. You've got some control on the end over here if you want. And then you've got the quick big buttons on the back that you can also control the light. The mount goes onto any light stand and it is a ball joint, which means you can have the light go horizontal, you can have it go vertical, however you need. But then it actually has an Arca Swiss sliding style uh, system. So you can put this on your light stand and then slide in your light and clamp it however high or low you need it to be. So that is a really, really nice thing. It's also worth mentioning that on the back, there are actually two of these small uh, screw holes. These are actually for your, this is your standard sort of camera screw hole for like a tripod plate or something like that. The cool part is that it comes with, first of all, that means you can mount this on any tripod basically. It also comes with a magnetic accessories. Comes with two of them, one for that end, one for this end. And what it means is that you can actually screw those in and then snap it to anything magnetic and it works perfect. The magnets it came with are extremely strong. So I would actually trust magnetizing this because this doesn't weigh a lot. I would trust that magnetizing this using what the magnets it came with to pretty much anything that you would need. It would do fantastic. So as I said, right now I have one light overhead and then one on each side. I'm messing around with different configurations. There's tons of things you could do. You could even put three of them, you know, up on one uh, boom arm if I wanted to. I can have a really nice, big, soft light up there. But I'm messing around with what I'm gonna do with configuration with these. The really nice thing about this is now, uh, I could actually use these for headshots. I could use these for children photos and not have to use strobes because these are really big, nice, soft, constant lights and the CRI is so good, I don't have to worry about color shifting. So I'm really excited about this, and uh, I can't wait to see what I come up with with these lights. And by the way, it comes with a really nice case. So if you need to pack this up, you've got this beautiful case from Generay, and inside of the case is a plastic tube that has a fabric lining on the inside and out. So you can actually slide the light right in here, and it's being protected once, inside the bag and then once by the bag itself. You also have the pockets here. You have pockets for your uh, power cables. You have pockets for some of the accessories, the DMX cables, and for the magnetized uh, mounts as well as the, the ball joint mount and all that stuff. It all fits perfectly in the case. Of course, if you have more than one light, you now have more than one case. So there's that. There's just more things, but you could also adjust, right? You can take all of these and throw them into one light case, like the one that I have from Think Tank Photo, I could actually put all of that into the one case, a couple light stands, and I'm good to go. So the pros of this, the pros of the Genere Baton 34 inch lights. They're super compact, really, when it's set up, they're very compact. They are very bright. They are very accurate as far as color and lack of the flicker that you might get from some lower quality LED lights. It's very versatile about how you can mount it and where you can mount it. Powering is very easy. It's literally a plug and then it just gonna turn on for you and then you can shut it off as you need to. So some of the cons of these lights, like I mentioned, it doesn't come with a remote. I wish that I could daisy chain for power. I wish that it came with a battery, but again, I understand why it did not come with a battery and that it's available separate. On my wish list would be, I wish these were RGB lights and not just a color shifting light. I wish they weren't just cool to warm tone, but rather RGB so I can make them whatever color I wanted. Because now it means if I want to gel these, I have to go out and buy gels instead of just flicking a button or whatever and making them blue or purple or red or whatever I want. Now I have to mention because these did come with the light stand and it came with sandbags, I have to mention those products as well. First are the sandbags. These are 15 pound sandbags from Impact and they are pre-filled. I did not have to fill them myself. They are extremely heavy. They have multiple ways to hang. There's multiple straps and they work perfectly. I mean, it's just a sandbag, but 
They're bright, you see them, you know they're there. It's a great sandbag. Then you have the C-stands from Impact that these came with. And again, these are C-stands. There's not much to them, but I love the foot of these C-stands. You see the footing of these, instead of you having to just pull, there's actually a quick pull-up lock to collapse the feet and to open the feet. Simple thing, but really nice. They are silver. I'm not a fan of silver reflective C-stands and light stands. I'd rather them be matte black. My other C-stands that I have in my studio are matte black, which means they have no reflection whatsoever. Uh, because these are reflective, it means it could be reflecting some of the light that I want to control. And it means I have less control because now they're reflecting off of the light stand. But these C-stands are metal. In fact, I could even magnetize the baton light to the C-stand instead of actually mounting it with the with the Arca Swiss mount to the C-stand. So that's kind of cool. They also go very high. In fact, they go higher than my, than my ceiling. So I have no concerns there. But other than that, they're a standard C-stand. So there you go. That is the four light kit from Generay of the 34 inch baton light. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Otherwise, I will link to this kit in the description down below. Before I say goodbye, be sure to click that subscribe button. I publish new videos every Monday and Thursday whenever possible. You don't want to miss it.